Hello, I'm Waterstones Children's Laureate, Joseph Coilo, and I love poetry, and I think you can love poetry too. Today we are at the rather brilliant Tate Britain, a gallery filled with incredible art. Today I am in their story space, a place for families to read, play and create together. We are going to create a mini story poem with a beginning, a middle and an end. My story starts in a garden where a little girl is climbing a tree. In the tree there is a nest and in the nest there is a key. The key opens a treasure, but where could the treasure be? The girl spies a hole in the trunk. The hole fits the key. The trunk opens up, and it is full of sparkling gold. She fills her pockets up and keeps the secret until she is old. There are three verses in that poem, and each one uses rhyme. In the first verse, the little girl finds a key. That's the start of my story. In the second verse, she uses the key to get some treasure. That's the middle of my story. In the third verse, we discover that she keeps the secret of the treasure until she is old. That's the end of my story. Can you tell a story using just three verses? Think about who your character will be. Mine was a little girl. Think about where your story is set. Mine was set in a garden. Think about what will happen My story was about the discovery of some treasure. You could set your story in a gallery or in a library or in school or in outer space. Your character could be a little boy or girl or a dinosaur or a robot or an alien. Because it is your story, it is up to you what happens. But I would suggest that you have your character find something interesting in the first verse. For the second verse, get them to do something with the thing they find. And for the third verse, the last verse, the end of your story, find a way to bring things to an end by having the character gain or learn something because of what they found. My character gained treasure because she found a key. Remember, you can't get the story wrong. It is up to you what happens. The only rule is to have your story happen over three verses. You can even make those verses longer or shorter if you want. I use rhyme, but that doesn't mean you have to. It's your poem. And as always, you are the boss. Oh, that's the poetry power up sound, which means it's time for an extra challenge for your poem. Can you make your poem rhyme? Or perhaps you can add another poetic device, like alliteration, where you have lots of words that start with the same letter. Or onomatopoeia, where you have words that are sounds like boom, crash or bang. Good luck and happy writing.